the A's. Well, Oakland at the end of a long road trip, looking to get home, probably hoping would have started this game a little bit sooner. See if they come out fired up. A little different mix to the righties and the lefties. Line to right, and that's going to be a fair ball. And this will land and find the right field corner. Castro at least two, and Willie will stop there. Good start, leadoff double. Well, game. This one is hit. This one is fair. And this one is a no doubter. to be in Texas at the All-Star game as we look at that swing taking that to the bank once again brought to you by Old National. I mean he keeps doing this it's going to be hard to ignore and if the game is the All-Star game now without home field advantage any of that stuff attached to it if the goal if the goal is to put the best players should Ellie De La Cruz be an All-Star as Kepler skies this one to playable left center and Cameron and Blade converge it's Cameron making the catch. For out number two, but is Royce Lewis double? He's right now at 306. His OPS on June 6th was in the 700s. It's now over 800. Zach Geloff bobbles and no play. And I believe that's going to be scored a base hit as well. So Correa now should be eight out of 14 in this series. And a four pitch walk. And this is a comparable first inning to what we saw earlier today. JP two on two out. Look out and Margot got hit on a breaking ball that really did not break. So the bases will be loaded. And here's pitch that threw that sweeper in there. And strikes out to end the inning. But the twins strike, and guess what? Royce Lewis, you are him. Another home run. What a show. 2 0. Carlos Correa calls you the team MVP. You know you're doing something right. Yeah, that's well said as Soderstrom begins the second with a leadoff single into right center field that Audrey's played in every single game. Now the Twins tonight, their 72nd game of the season, and Willie, that's going to play out for the Twins. Langoliers to left center. Deep. Back goes Martin. And he'll jump in. Martin pulled it back. Austin Martin caught that ball. Austin Martin caught that ball. And this is going to be a double play. No, well, he tagged up on it. The choice was to either throw it to third or throw it to first and try and get the double play. We'll see if they appeal this. Trades looking pretty good right now. <laughs> Look at him go up. And Rob Langoliers of a game tying home run. That is every outfielder's dream right there to have an opportunity to do that. What we saw Torrey Hunter do so many times in a Twins uniform. Austin Martin hasn't played a ton of center field, but man, he looked at ball game. Full count to Cameron. And he walked it. And Paddock doesn't walk too many, just his 15th walk issued all year. Play. He hits that ball hard into the gap, and Seth Brown is going to bring that run home. Here comes Tyler Soderstrom. The ball kicks away from Austin Martin, and a chance to wave in Daz Cameron. We have a tied ball game in Minneapolis. Seth Brown coming up the hero. The pitch, Geloff towards center field. Austin Martin, he's chasing it down. He's going to have to play it off the wall. In comes the go-ahead run, and Zach Geloff with an RBI double. And Toro swings at the first pitch, a dribbler towards first base. Santana flips it over quickly to Paddock, and they'll get the out. The A's came to the plate swinging, hitting, and scoring. They're in charge. Busy night so far. And finally gets to bat for the first time. And he ninth. Smacks the base hit to left. 
Return from AAA earlier in this series with Alex Kirilov. Huh? Debuted a couple of starts late last year. Castro to right. Sending Brown back. Brown still going, still going. Jumps up and not even close. Willie to second. Martin is going to stop at third base as he thought about running through Tommy Watkins' stop sign. Tommy might have tackled him if he tried to score on that one. That ball. This is bad. Larnick to right field. Get up. Towards that dock and gone. A line drive laser to right. It's a three run home run for Trevor Larnick. And the Twins answer back and now late 5 3. Well, he kept challenging him. After all the off speed in the first at bat, he took a fastball in the zone for the second pitch and then fought off some close pitches, took some close pitches. Well, hit her nose. And he knew that thing was gone. He was jogging out of the box. Set of Taking some aggressive swings, very comfortable. In his career at home here in Minnesota, popped up towards center field. J.J. Bladé charging in, charging out of the middle infielders, and the catch for Ledmus Diaz. What a play, especially at that shortstop spot. I think it's fair to say that Ledmus Diaz, maybe his speedier days behind him, but. Still able to get a good first step and track that ball all the way out. Never. And they'll try and finish getting those outs off a one hopper to Zach Geloff. Carlos Correa retired on the ground ball. Three run homer from Trevor Larnick. Put the Twins back on top. Five to three after two. Paddock to the plate to pitch. That swung on. Fly ball to right field. Not finding it first was Kepler. Now he does. Just looks up and it is gone. On a home run for Blade. It's now five to four. Twins. Nice shot from JJ Blade. It's his tenth of the year and his twenty-fifth RBI. Slugfest indeed, Vince. So JJ Blade, double digits and home runs. That's his tenth of the year. Well, we just continue to emphasize what it's been like watching the growth of this uh, young center fielder making the most of his opportunity. Inside pitch, maybe a ball off the inside corner, trying to tail back to the corner, and he wouldn't let it get there before his barrel touched it. Yeah, he knew he got it. Here is so the diving play by Geloff to his left. There's a ground ball up the middle, moving to his right. The second baseman, Castro, makes the play and throws him out, and there is one away. It's only the third inning. Soderstrom to center. Again deep. Martin at the wall will turn. This game is tied. Tyler Soderstrom. It's his second homer in this series. Both have gone to straightaway center field. And it's 5 5. Well, he could have had two in the first ball game today. First game of this doubleheader. And one to left to hit about halfway up the wall. He hit one. It was caught on the track. Happens to a soda pop when it's hot, Jenny, it explodes. Sody Swat. Stay fair. Stay fair. That one hit itself. It tucked itself under that ivy. That uh, over in St. Paul. Here's the 0-2 pitch. Swung on and that miss down he goes. Thought he might have got a piece of it. He didn't as Vasquez applies the tag on Langelier. So Shea strikes out, brother of Louis Varland. And Gus pitches swung out. Oh, two upper to third. Up with it is Lewis Royce across the first in time. And the inning is over. So Cameron bounces out, but the A's do get a couple of runs. A home run from Blade, a home run from Soderstrom. Two runs, two hits, and over to left through two and a half. It's the A's five and the Twins five. When he To left and that's a base hit over near the line Santana's going to take a wide turn he's going to try for two to throw to second base is late slipped on the throw he's to short and Santana will hold as Diaz throws out the twins catcher two down they had two balls and a strike. 
Line to left center field. That's a base hit in the gap. He's two for two. That's going to find the wall and score Santana. Twins take the lead. Martin will round and hang on with an RBI double. Twins back on top 6 5. Drafted was the, the ability to put the bat on the ball. And he's gotten back to being himself as a hitter. Line drive through the big part of the field. The Twins retake the lead, and now they'll get to face a new pitcher. So neither starter made it through three innings here tonight. As Mark Cott said, he had a lefty warming up in the bullpen at TJ McFarland. We've got the last out of the fourth. Vasquez to shallow center field. And that'll land. Read perfectly by Margill. He'll make third. Did he read that well? Because the second baseman, Geloff, he tried to deke Margo a little bit. For the stolen base and a run scored. 6 5 Minnesota, bottom of the fifth, roller towards short. Could be two. Diaz on to Geloff to first base, headlong slide. Not good enough for Martin. He's out. The A's turn it 6 4 3. Double play ends the inning for Minnesota. We're through five at Target Field, and the A's trail the Twins 6 to 5. If you're Showman, should I bunt? And Showman is like, no way. Down the line, off the bag. Pops in the air. And a three hit night for Willie Castro. I mean, doesn't it? He had 70 hits in counting over the last five games. Nice sliding stop made by Toro, and they'll get the out at second base to Rob Miranda of a double. And they get the lead man in Castro's. Yes. Greenland. Pitch with a lot of respect the way he's been swinging the bat. The three for nine tonight with the runners in scoring position. Kepler got jammed to short. They'll go to third and Miranda, the best dad ever, cleats. He's tagged out. Pitchers. Correa slices it to right. Over goes Brown. That's going to land a base hit. Lewis scores to third. Kepler Correa delivers a two out RBI single. And the Twins have a 7 5 lead. Shallow right. Geloff out. Brown in. It's going to be Brown, the right fielder. Grabbing it to end the inning. But Correa picks up his second hit, drives in his 35th run. Twins up the lead to two. I guess swing and miss. Good call. And part of the message for Varlin when he was sent out after four big league starts, he said 97 with his 43rd pitch. Toro to right center field. Martin over. Plenty of room. Two down. And I understand the strategy. For sure. Owen won the count on Blade, the 0 1 pitch. Blade swings, hits one into right field for a base hit. It's the third hit of the night for J.J. Blade. And that brings the tying run to home plate in Miguel Andujar. The, Blade, the right hander, Louis Varlin of the plate in the 1 2 pitch. Swung out a busted bat, soft liner into left center for a base hit. Rounding second base, Blade, he'll get to third. And the A's now have first and third with two outs for Soderstrom. So on Duhar, a single to left center. Hit a buck 60 last year with the A's. The 1-0 pitch swung out. Hit left side and threw for a base hit. In to score Blade on Duhar. Will dig for third and he will get there. It's now 7-6 Minnesota. Great piece hitting the other way. Soderstrom has his third hit. It's his second RBI of the game and his 13th RBI game, I believe, of his career. As the right-hander delivers in the pitch, that swung out a bust to bat. Looper to right center for a base hit. Anduar will score. Soderstrom will go to third. It's 7-7. Seven to seven. A two-out nightmare for Varland as Langoliers picks up his 36th RBI of the year. And it's a 7-7 ball game in the seventh. Walk-off. They had five consecutive singles. Looking to do it here, but that's straight to the glove of Carlos Santana. He'll step on first base for good measure. And the threat is over, but not before it's tied. Seven all. Time to stretch. Full count to the A's leadoff man. Through the eighth inning. Got him. Slider. No chance there from Diaz. Two up, two down. 
Yeah, sun poisoning on his eyelids. Strikes out the side. Stallmont continues to deal. As a first year twin they could never hit him as a Royal. He's looking pretty good in that twins uniform. Got him. So you mentioned the one. second at bat for Jose Miranda hit the ball hard his first time up. Sends this one in the air to left field and deep. Back it goes. Twins take the lead. He hit the ball hard in the sixth. Hit the ball even harder in the eighth. 427. And the Twins take a one run lead. Got himself a hanging slider. He knew what to do with it. Hit it off the facing of the third deck. This was not in a spot where anyone was going to get a glove on and take a hit away from him. Not sure if he was sitting on this or just saw it, but he was all over it. What a sound off the bat. What a feeling that is as a hitter. <laughs> That's when you know you got it. You get that reaction. Broken bat. And Toro, to his credit, was not bothered by the barrel and made the play for the out because the ball was so kind of searching for that base with his foot. Kepler half swing to shallow <laughs> left get down ball you bet. I mean you get into the season where we're at now it's hard to get. in the air to right center field and deep this one carrying Seth Brown though runs it down right near the padding. And that ends the inning. But Jose Miranda with his seventh home run. Twins answer with more power. Three outs away from a four game sweep over the A's. <laughs> to the right side, Santana plays it. Jax has to get there. Does a catch and step. Day, good player. Three hit night with a home run. To left field, shallow. Margo was playing deep and he won't get there. So a four hit game for JJ Blade and the tying run is on. In the air to left center field, Byron Buxton back. Buxton with room. Lede back to strike three called ball game over and the twins sweep the A's eight seven the final the twins have won seven of their last eight they're now 13 and five in one run games and this homestand continues to go well for the hometown nine as Jax picks up his sixth save and the Twins beat the A's by one and take all four. Well it's hard to sweep any team at the big league level. It's hard to sweep a double header. Got to give the guys credit. Mental toughness required on this one to battle it all the way through the end. A lot of big hits in this one. Louis Varley did a great job coming in eating up some innings showed some plus stuff.